This is the level one functional skills maths paper from AQA. It comprises of two parts. In the first part, you can't do data, but in the second part, you can. So we'll have a look at the first part and we'll take each question in turn. So answer all questions in the spaces provided. Work out 1.2 times 100. Circle your answer. So when multiplying a decimal by 100, the decimal point moves two places to the right. So 1.2, I'm going to move it one place and then another one. So here will go the decimal point and we'll fill the gap with a zero. So this has now become 120. You can disregard the decimal after the digits because it makes no difference. So 120 is the answer. Write in digits 32,000. So 32, you know that after the thousands there are three digits. And in this case, this will be zeros because we haven't got any hundreds, tens or units. You can include a comma here if you like. Draw all the lines of symmetry on this shape. So that would be one going this way. Better drawn with a ruler and a pencil. And the other one can be this way. And there are no more. Work out 7.28 divided by 4. You could divide it by 2 and then divide the answer by 2 as well, whichever you prefer. But I'll go straight into dividing it by 4. So how many 4s would fit into 7? That would be just one of them. And there would be three remaining. Now, at this point, we've got a decimal point. So I'm going to put that decimal point in the answer as well. Now, how many fours into 32? That would be eight of them. Exactly eight. Now, how many fours into eight? And that is two. So the answer is 1.82. Here are five numbers. We've got 4, 5, 9, 16 and 16. Work out the range. So the range is the difference between the highest and the lowest numbers. The highest is 16 and the lowest is 4. So 16 take away 4 gives us 12 and 12 is the range. Work out 25% of 76, so we know that 25% is a quarter of the whole thing. So we could divide 76 by 2 and then divide the answer by 2 as well, or go into 76 divided by 4. Because there are four parts in total. So how many fours fit into 7? That is 1. And we get three remaining. How many fours into 36? That is nine. And there is nothing remaining. So the answer is 19. Work out 15 at 35 divided by 5. So we've got two operations, addition and division. Which one will we do first? Bidmas tells us that we need to do division first. So I'm going to keep the rest and change. So we've got 15, add 35 divided by 5 is 7. And 15 add 7 is 22. Garden design. 
Erin runs a garden company. A customer has asked Erin to design and build a new garden. The garden will be a rectangle measuring 11 meters by 9 meters. Here is a list of what the customer wants in the garden. They want a paved area, 2 meters by 2 meters square, in one corner. A hedge, 6 meters by 1 meters rectangle along one edge. A flower bed, which is a circle with a radius of 3 meters. On the scale diagram below, show a possible design for the garden. We've got a scale which is one centimeter represents one meter. So this which is one centimeter will represent one meter in reality. So let's start with the paved area, which is a square, two meters by two meters which means two squares by two squares in this case, and it needs to be in one corner. So we can leave it here in this corner. We're just going to need to label it. And then we've got to represent a hedge, which is six meters by one meter rectangle along one edge. So either here, 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 or here. So six by one. So one, two, three, four, five, six by one. And finally, a flower bed, which is a circle with a radius of three meters. A radius of three squares in other words here. I'm going to use this online protractor to draw the circle because that's all I've got online whereas when doing it on paper you can use a pair of compasses. So the radius will be three squares long. And there we have it. So we'll label these now. This is the paved area. This is the hedge. And this is the flower bed. The table shows the amounts that Erin charges the customer. We've got design in the garden, £49.99, pence, materials, £62.73, and building the garden, £10 per square metre. How much does she charge altogether? So we haven't got a figure for this, which we're going to need to work out. So we'll go back to the graph that we had before, which represented the whole garden. So looking at the whole garden, that is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine meters by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven meters. So we'll work out the area. 
So 9 times 11 gives us 99 squared meters. And that is 10 pounds per square meter. So we'll do 10 times 99, which is again adding just a zero at the end. So that becomes 990 pounds. That's for building the garden. I'm going to add to this the £62.73 pence and £49.99 pence. Nine at three is twelve. Nine and one ten and the seven seventeen. Nine and one ten and the two is twelve. Six and four is ten and the one eleven. So that's one hundred and twelve pounds and seventy two pence. And we're going to add to that. the 990 pounds, there are zero pennies. Two and zero is two, seven and zero is seven, two and zero is two, one and nine is 10, nine and one is 10 and the one 11. So the total is 1,102 pounds and 72 pence. It will take 48 hours of work to complete the garden. The garden must be finished in three days. Each gardener works for eight hours per day. How many gardeners are needed? So if each gardener works eight hours per day, and the garden must be finished in three days. Eight times three equals 24 hours that one gardener can do. But it will take 48 hours of work, so it's double this amount. So that means two gardeners are needed. The paved area is a square with sides 2 metres long. The paving stones for this area are squares that measure 50 centimetre by 50 centimetres. How many paving stones are needed? So if I try and represent the paved area here, each side will be 2 metres long. And the squares or the paving stones will be 50 centimeter by 50 centimeter. Now, first of all, we need to convert the two meters into centimeters so that we can see exactly how many of these stones can fit. So two meters, one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So two meters will be 200 centimeters. So if you try and fit 50 into 200, you're going to have four of them. So 50 and 50 and 50 and 50 makes 200. Again, 50 and 50 and 50 on the other side to make the 200. So four lots of 50. So four lots on one side and four on the other. Four times four makes 16. And you can also count them here. And it gives 16. And this is the end of this part.